Today I'm going to talk about points or contact breakers. You've probably heard Bill down the pub talking about points in his classic car, but what are they? What do they do? Why are they so important? And why are they troublesome when they don't really need to be? Well, points are just a switch. A switch for a coil, which makes the electricity for the spark. So where are the contact points? Well, they're in the distributor. Now, to show you how it works, I've rigged one up, a second one. So you can see how it works as a simple switch. So here they are, inside the distributor, a simple switch. Now it's driven mechanically from the engine at half speed. So as the, the engine turns, it makes a cam. This is off a four cylinder car, so there's four lobes on the cam and it opens and closes the switch. So you can see what's going on. I've rigged it up. So here we go. Plug it in. So as it turns, it brings on and off the switch. And that's all it does. It's a simple switch inside a distributor. Basically, the distributor is run at half speed of the engine. And as it opens and closes on the points, when the points are closed, they allow the coil to charge. So once the coil is charged, the points open and the magnetic field inside the coil collapses. Once the magnetic field has collapsed, it generates the, enough voltage for the spark plug. So it's very, very important that the gap here inside the points is correct. Too big, too small, not good. It's got to be just right to get that engine running smoothly. To set them up correctly, what you need to do is adjust the gap. To do that, you need a set of these feeler gauges. Best to check the workshop manual so you know which size to use. The first thing we need to do is rotate the engine so that the cam here is at its highest point. Let's have a look. Somewhere about there. Next, using the feeler gauges, we can check the gap between the contacts. Any adjustment we need can be done via this screw here. To make the gap larger, if it's too tight, we loosen the screw and we can move the points away and open it up. Equally, if it's too big, we can close them up and check them again with a feeler gauge until we get it just so. Once we've adjusted it, we check it with the feeler gauges. So it's a nice fit between the two contacts. Not too tight, not too loose, just slightly dragging. Once we're there, we tighten the screw back up. That's nice and tight. So we check it again, just in case it's moved once we've tightened the screw. And we're good to go. While you're in here and on a regular basis, it's always good to have a look at the condition of the contacts on the points. Any pitting or burning could lead to some poor running of the engine, but it's also a sign that you could have a problem with this, the condenser. Its job is to minimise the spark at the points as they open and close. And boy, do they open and close. For every 1000 RPM on a four stroke, four cylinder engine, these points are opening 2000 times. And finally, before you put all this back together, it's always a good idea to put a tiny little bit, bit of grease on the shaft because this little follower here, which runs round and round on that cam, is going to wear down. It wears down, your gap closes up. Give it a bit of lubrication and it will all be good. So if points are going to be a little bit too much hard work for you, what you can do is you can do a modification. Now, you've probably heard people talk about electronic ignition. Well, inside here, no points. What you have instead is a little ring which fits over the cam with small iron pieces in it which relate to the position of those lobes that we were looking at earlier and a little electronic pickup. So every time the distributor rotates, those little iron bars inside here pass by the pickup and switch internally. All solid state, no moving parts. Again, if you fit one of these kits, you must check your ignition timing afterwards because they are kind of slightly different 
and you just need to make sure that the distributor is set and the ignition timing is spot on if you change over to one of these but once you've done that happy days no more messing around and that's all there is to it folks there's your points there's your electronic ignition the choice is yours happy motoring